current feelings and intentions of your person we're going to start by pulling some zodiacs so in a circle of protection let's give you extra connection to this tarot reading what have we got we have got i feel like bingo caller if you've ever been to the bingo let me know I used to go down to Seaside and um, play the little bingo in the arcades. We've got Leo and we've got Aries. So, welcome back to Hope Tarot Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe and your intuition. It is timeless, so it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. And if we get into it and you'd like to claim it, let me know in the comments. So, you want to know, I want to pick up all the current feelings and true intentions of this person that you're connected with so hold them in your mind's eye while i'm shuffling i'm going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering as a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind what is going on with your person got the ace of vessels that's nice we've got the ace of arrows that's nice love and sexual attraction and we've got the four of arrows taking a little bit of time out although the four of arrows is sometimes um about making peace with the world it may be the both of you taking time out together or them just taking a little bit of time out to think what what they want next there's love and romance here but there's also sexual things here and there's a connecting of minds here as well um it's it feels like they like to go to a little quiet place so that they can open up and they can you know be open and free with you but it feels like it has to be away from the rest of the world so i don't know if you're a secret in their world or if you two just really do value your time you spend alone together, whether that's in person or on the phone or messaging. But it, it feels like they really do value the one-on-one -on -one with you. Which feels nice. That's nice. So, the green man, yeah, they're quite sure of how they feel. There's passion. Not only the mind, like, flirtatiousness and sexual attraction there's passion here as well and desire um and a stag <laughs> i love these that's the horned god i love these i love them so much um so the stag's all about kind of finding his strength you make them feel really good about himself you make him feel strong i'm assuming it's a guy there's a lot of masculine energy here um got the mad hots for you you know um the knight of vessels they like saying all of the things yeah they go with the flow don't they they absolutely do this feels like a really nice person should we just end the reading now um this person has my approval um i don't think they're messing you around i don't think there's anything like that going on here just feels like pure attraction and wanting to enjoy it and wanting to be open with it and wanting to be free with it and wanting to go with it um they don't like overthinking they don't like complications they seem like they're quite straightforward um yeah feels nice and there may be times when maybe they're quiet with you and that's because they value your connection more when there's no one else around because they like having that time with just, they don't want to share you. They they want, when you two have time together, it feels like a real special time of, you've made time for them, they've made time for you. No, There's no background noise, there's, there's nothing that's just soaking in your energy. And even if that's, <laughs> it just popped into my head. The most random things pop into my head when I'm reading. But I'll tell you what it is. It's almost in my head is someone locking themselves in a toilet cubicle at work with their phone in their hand and just spending a little bit longer in there just so they can send you that extra message. 
but it's that those moments like that is they wouldn't they value that more than like sitting on a in a meeting and then sending mindless texts it's like wanting to shut down and lock down just so they can savor that contact um privacy I think that's what the word is privacy and little moments of happiness and naughtiness I would have thought <laughs> naughtiness I don't want to see the photos mm. so forest lovers yeah you don't get much better than that do you so let's see if the last two cards can ruin it Let's hope not. The five of arrows reversed. There's no, they're not keen on um, changing things. They like how things are. They like how things are progressing. They don't want to run away. They don't want to run towards it. They just want to go with the flow. And that may make you feel they're holding back. I don't think they are holding back. I just think they really value the one-on-one -on -one time. Where it's just you and them and each other and your energies together um whether that is in person or messaging or thinking and dreaming and daydreaming it's like it's always just the two of you and no one else around to ruin it or or anything you know and th there's no hurry here there's no hurry here it's like go with the flow let's not overthink it let's not wish it away let's not do it let's take it step by step and really enjoy one another. That's the message I'm getting. The nine of bows reversed. There's a lot of respect here. But there's <clears throat> a little bit of inflexible. Because they are enjoying how things are at the moment. They're not keen to change it. Because I don't know whether they... No, I don't think they even think about jinx in it. It's just a let's go with the flow and see where it goes. And, and that, to me, that reads as... When they say, oh, let's just go with the flow, they generally, they're just going with the flow. Sometimes when, when people say that, we get that feeling that they they say that because they're trying to brush us off now. I think this person genuinely means, I like where this is going. Let's continue where this is going and see where we end up in with no even thought of disconnecting or, or anything. It, it just feels really nice. And it, it feels early days and it feels they've got the mad hots for you. <laughs> they've got the mad hots for you. You connect with each other in a way that is just amazing. Um, and you don't get that with many people. So don't change it. Don't overthink it. Don't worry about it. If you've not heard from them or if you... If you don't hear from them when you expect, imagine they're in a room full of people and they, they want that moment to go lock themselves in the toilet so that they can take that moment alone with you. Or maybe when they're in the bath or when they're going to bed or in person, they may just be better off communicating face to face. Um, that's been coming up a fair bit lately. So I'm going to pull some oracles. Let's see what the oracles want to say. Is there anything else we need to know about this connection? Oh, goodness. Let's cross our fingers. Hope for the best. If you'd like to support the channel, put a like on a video. If you want to subscribe, turn your notifications on. Um, although, I do upload three times a day, so you, may, you might not want to. So it's up to you. If we can get to 7,000 this year, I would be so happy. Like, you have no idea. That'd just be, that'd be nice to think. Yeah, we're finally growing a little bit. Um, yeah, seven's an important number to me. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And I do do personal readings. They're available from my website. But you don't need to be emailing me asking for a reading because this is a nice relationship. This is the nice beginnings of something of two people that really like each other. Patience, <laughs> that's the only card I'm going to pull. Let this seed grow. When this person says things like, let's go with the flow, let's see where it's going. It doesn't mean this, they're saying, I'm going to wait until you're not looking, I'm running away. No, they, they mean, let's see where this goes. Let's let this grow. Let's see what kind of seed this is. Let's see where it evolves naturally. I think they really do have a lot of respect for you. They have a lot of respect for this connection. Um, 
they're not bragging about it, they're not shouting about it, because they're valuing your time with them and your privacy and their privacy and your privacy as a couple and it feels nice and it feels great and go and enjoy it and have fun, have a lot of fun, go on because there's so many people out there who's not having any fun at all so please have some fun for all of us, thanks, because <laughs> this feels nice. Anyone that's willing to lock themselves in the toilet at work just to send you some messages is worth it, you know. Because you know they've got to walk back out there and people are going to be going, really, 20 minutes? Something stuck is there. You know, they, have, they that's an embarrassment. So, yeah, anyway, I don't know why that's in my head, but that's a message for somebody out there. Going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. If you would like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee in the morning, request to pull a card in the comments. It's my favourite time of day, connecting with you guys in the comments. Um, feels nice to be back to normal. So if you see Purple Hearts, you're now part of a secret Purple Heart gang. If you make it to the end of the reading, you're now part of that gang. If you know, you know, put some likes on other people's Purple Hearts and I will see you soon.